the Pranksters, Payne here for the Panic Report. Tonight, we are here in Davis, California for Corbett's House of Horrors Fear Farm. They have uh, two haunted houses, a haunted corn trail, and a zombie truck. We have heard that this thing is amazing. You get on the back of a truck, you haul butt through corn, and you get to shoot zombies with paintballs. Come along for the ride, Pranksters. It's Halloween time. They got some cool stuff here besides the three like haunt experiences in the truck. Uh, they got a little booth down here with a little game. They got a food booth over in the corner. Cool decorations around this place. Looks like there's a clown haunt, a medical haunt. Like I said, there is a, uh, a haunted corn maze and then the zombie truck. Um, I was told that the zombie truck sells out every single night. So if you are coming out, you want to get here early. The gates open at 7. Ticket booth opens at 6.30, but they're suggesting that you're here between 6 and 6.30 if you want to get on the truck because it sells out very fast every night. That is the thing everybody comes here to do. All right, here we go. First haunt of the night, Medical Mayhem. Let's check it out. All right, just came out of Medical Mayhem. So it's all done in these containers, inside and between containers. It's actually pretty cool what they've done with those containers. Uh, some of the scenes are set up really cool. They got a lot of cool equipment inside there. Um, the characters are pretty good. It was decent. It was decent. We had a good time in there. Off to the next one. All right, next up, the clown haunt, Carn Evil. All right, Carn Evil. This is another one that you go in and out of containers. Very cool how they used the containers. That's a really pretty long uh, haunt right there. Um, some very good scare actors inside there. A couple really good scares. Uh, they, I think they need to bump up the ending just a little bit, but fantastic. We had a, we're having a great time so far. Uh, I think we're gonna head off to the corn maze next. Yeah, let's go check that out. All right, guys, here we go. They haunted a cool. Let's get it. All right, haunted corn trail. That was fun. That was really long. Really long. They got a couple scenes set up out there, which was kind of cool. They had a really good double scare at the very end there. That was a fantastic way to end. I hope they keep doing that all night because that was great. Uh, yeah, so we've done all the haunts. Um, I had a good time in all of them. I mean, uh, I believe it was like. It was like 20 or 25 dollars for the haunts and it's an additional 25 dollars just to do the truck so that's what we're going to get in line for right now zombie land uh zombie paintball truck um, but i absolutely think it was worth the price to go through each of the haunted houses we had a good time um, the clown one was really long it's cool to see what they can do in and out of containers and stuff like that and the haunted trail long decent amount of talent out there uh, there's definitely some open spaces where there's nothing there that kind of builds the anticipation which was also kind of cool because you never knew when it was going to come so on to the last thing the zombie trucks finish the zombie trucks oh my god you guys have to come out and try that that is amazing it's one of the coolest things you'll ever do they haul butt through that corn they slow down there's these little cutouts in the corn where they got lives on the actors and you shoot them with paintballs and then the truck takes off again that was amazing i'm telling you they said it was good and it's good you gotta get out here early though because they sell out on the zombie truck every single night so get here between 6 and 6.30, get your tickets, hang out till they open at 7. Around 9 o'clock, sometimes they release some more tickets. So if you're still here and you didn't get tickets, stay close to that ticket booth, especially around 9 o'clock, because they might release more. There's no guarantee, but depending on how quickly they get through the line, they will release more. Hey, we had an amazing time here 
at uh, Davis Fear Farm. And I think you guys should come check it out. Payne, here for the Panic Report. As always, scare you later.